look, I got my room back. So guess what? I got me a tattoo. I got a new tattoo. I know you guys can see it. Can you see it? And I'll show it a little better here. All right, right there. Can you see it? Okay. That's uh, that's my boy, my boy Chiquito, from back in the day. I think he passed away now, maybe 13, 14 years ago now. A long time. Here's some more pictures of him. It was a little bright, but that's my son. And these are the only pictures that I have of him. That's my other son too. But that's Chiquito right there. That was my boy. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, to all of you guys that contacted me by social media, by text, by email about Trixie, uh, she's, uh, she's, she doesn't even seem like she's sick at all, but she has taken her medication. She was on the uh, hardware medicine for about a month. And then she took what's called the fast kill. Two injections uh, back to back. And so far, she's uh, doesn't even seem like she's sick. She's uh, We're checking on her poop. And there was like a big, I don't know, my girlfriend said that. There was like a big ass worm that came out of her. She's still in uh, under medication. She's still, well, she's doing good. She's okay. Let me uh, talk to you guys about my tattoo, okay? And I want to talk to you guys about this guy right here. I'm going to put his picture. This one, I'm going to put it somewhere up on the screen. He, um, you know, have you ever had a, a, a pet that really just, uh, bonds with you and Chiquito I, I remember when I first got him he was just a little baby man he was so small he used to fit in the palm of my hand and I remember when I got him I don't remember how much I paid for him I think I paid like 150 probably like 150 maybe 200 for him and I remember when I picked him up I used to have him in my hand, and he went everywhere with me. I used to put him in my pocket when I would go to the store, when I would just uh, go, wherever I would go, he would go with me. And I remember when I first got him, he was actually sick too. He, um... Yeah, he was, uh... <clears throat> he was sick when I first got him he had the cold or something you know had the sniffles and and um, I remember I called the vet because I wanted to take him in but he was still too small and the vet told me to give him some uh, baby maybe Tylenol or something like that for kids so I gave him some you know just a little bit from what the doctor said and just keep an eye on him. And I remember I used to have this uh, shoe box. And I remember I, I fixed it up for him with a little blanket and, you know, a little pillow. And uh, I remember <clears throat> I remember I, I, I had him on the window, by the window sill, you know, or, you know, by the window. And my bed was, my bed was right next to the window. And he would sleep right there with me. And I remember getting up in the middle of the night, checking up on him, making sure he was okay. And uh, he was sick for a couple of days, but I kept on checking him, just, just like my kid, you know? And one day he just, I mean, he, I mean, he started getting better. And I remember when he was able to walk, he, he, started walking on the bed and for some reason I mean I knew that he probably had to go poop you know and so I remember I had toilet paper 
wrapped around my hand and uh, I was following him around. He was barely walking on the bed and <laughs> I remember he, when he finally decided to, to go do some number two, I, I put the toilet paper under his butt and he actually pooped on my hand on the toilet paper. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I took care of him and got him well. He was, he was just with me. He, he all the time was with me as he grew up, got older. You know, he was, uh, he was a bad little dude, man. He, uh, he couldn't touch me. He couldn't do anything to me because he, he was, he was short, but he was kind of stocky a little bit. And, uh, he had a big heart. <clears throat> he had a big heart. He didn't care how big you were or how big the dog was. He didn't care. He, um, he wasn't scared. He wasn't scared at all. And, uh, I remember a couple of times, man, um, maybe you would try to get close to me and you try to mess with me or something, he he would attack you. I mean, you know, he was just a little small chihuahua, you know, what could he do really? But he was he was fearless, man. He, he didn't care. He was protecting me. He was my little protector. Didn't matter. I'm telling you, man, this dude was, he was freaking badass. And uh, I remember one time, cats, see, he didn't like cats either. I remember one time I ended up uh, opening the front door and he saw a cat and he took off running, man. And the funny part about that is that, you know, he had little short legs, so when he was running, his body was going too fast for him that his legs gave out on him and he started flipping and rolling around but once he he got up man he got up and he was back at the back at him and he was focused on that on that cat and he went after that cat man of course you know that cat took off but uh man he was a character he was that was my boy I have more memories that I have of him let me just tell you another story and let me tell you how I used to take care of him uh, back then I was going through my divorce actually I wasn't even married anymore I was divorced so I actually had a bachelor a bachelor pad you know and um, <clears throat> I remember you know when you're going through a divorce and you're finally divorced you know and you have a bachelor pad uh, you guys know what happens you guys know anything is fair anything is game so, I remember I used to bring girls for him. But, well, not, I didn't bring a lot of girls for him, but I remember I, I, I brought I brought him a girl so he can have some fun. And I remember setting up the food inside the garage, you know, and a, a bowl for her and a bowl for him. And, uh, you know, try to make it a little romantic for them. You know, when dogs first get together, they, they're they smelling each other's butt, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he ended up, he ended up getting her pregnant and then they had puppies. And uh, I remember, I don't remember how many she had, but I know that one of them, we ended up, I sold it to one of my friend's uh, sister. And I think that was a female, but it looked exactly like him. And she was mean too. There's a lot of memories that I have of him. For that reason, I wanted to go ahead and get, get a tattoo of him. I've been wanting this tattoo for years now. And I finally got the, I have finally had the time to go and do this. So I came home from work and I had him in the garage. And I think it was a Sunday. 
And when I, I got home, he was, <clears throat> he was already pretty much, I don't know, I don't know if he got into something. I didn't, I didn't leave anything for him out there, you know, where he can get into something, but I don't know what happened, what he got into. And so when I found him, he was pretty much already getting, he was pretty sick already. And he only got worse. And and I'm talking about he got worse within a couple, well, an hour or so. He got real bad. And uh, during this time, I was trying to see about, you know, calling a vet. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I was, I was trying to get a vet for him, everything, and, and I, there's nothing I could do. And he kept getting worse and worse, where he was having convulsions and he was having like seizures. And uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see your dog going through that, you know, and. His eyes were rolling back already. I couldn't find a vet. I could the pain and the suffering that he was going through. And to see that, man, it's, it's crazy. And, um, it's just kind of hard kind of hard to see that <sighs> starting to foam at the mouth and um, so I had to make a choice on what I was going to do and I, I didn't want him to suffer anymore I really didn't so he, uh, he passed away. He passed away and, uh, hey, you know, uh, he took his last breath. It was kind of hard, really, it was kind of hard. It's hard to see. It's hard to see your your dog or pretty much anybody going through that. Oh man, that was that was my boy. That was my boy, and uh, that was my boy right there. My little freaking badass boy. I love that boy. I can see him every day. So he's still with me. He's still with me. That's my boy. That's my boy. I hope to see you again one day. <laughs> we had a lot of good times. All right. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you later.